Tunes crazy person right now. Why is that in my head? I can't find what I'm looking for. I literally just think I tweaked my back putting up like a 10 feet tall Christmas tree that weighed like a gazillion pounds. But my living room looks ever so festive. I think I'll just have to lie on the couch and ice my back and look at the twinkly lights tonight. Hi everybody, happy Friday to you. So <laughs> What am I doing? It's Friday, so that means I have some favorites to share with you. So, um, yes, my hair is real. it looks a lot darker. I mean, it is dark. Like, it came out ten times darker than what I was expecting it to. But that's okay, you know, I can rock it. I wish I could show you the true color, because on camera it just looks like it's dark, like, almost black-brown. But in real life, it's like a dark violet magenta. Like, it's a bright dark color. <laughs> Um, I posted some pictures on my Instagram, so if you want to try and see a better picture, but still, it's like one of those colors that you just can't capture on camera or in video, and in real life, people are like, whoa, that's some bright, dark hair. <laughs> it's like bright magenta, but dark, vampy magenta. I don't know. Whatever. Whatevs. So, let's talk about some favorites. Let's talk about the first thing. These lips. OMG. So... This, I, I got some Melt lipsticks. They had a Black Friday deal where it was like, buy two, get one free. So I was like, alright, I'm going to go ahead and try it because um, Laura Aureliano, I don't know how, the creator of Melt, she's like the most beautiful woman ever and I want her eyebrows. She's always rocking all these cool lipsticks from her own line, so... I really wanted to give it a try. So these lipsticks retail for $19, which is kind of pricey. Right, so the only thing I don't really love about these lipsticks is the packaging. It just, I just expected it to feel a little bit more weighty. I mean, it feels like practically nothing because it's in a really light plastic, but you know, whatever. It's the product on the inside that matters, right? So this color I have going on in my lips right now is pretty dark and sultry and vampy, and the name suits it as well. I'm not fond of the name. It's kind of pertains to evil, and I feel like evil is very real, and it's very in the world all the time. Um, but it's called 666. But it's just a really pretty, dark, vampy, burgundy... Mm, it's, <laughs> it's gorgeous. So... Mind my nails, they look like crap. I was planning to paint them before this, but now I'm just like, oh yeah, that's what I was forgetting to do. Oh well. Now these lipsticks, they are not a very creamy formula, but they are meant to stay in place and be um, really resistant to smudging, which is what I look for in a dark, vampy lip like that. I don't want it rubbing all over my face. So it is like a drier formula, but it doesn't dry out the lips. But just FYI, if you want a really creamy lipstick, these are not it. They are meant to stay on your lips. So there is a swatch of 666 and I love that color. It's just gorgeous. So that's what I have on my lips in case you were wondering what that vampy goodness was. It's that. All right, another favorite. I recently posted a video with the whole collection and swatches of the Ever In Your Favor collection from Geek Chic Cosmetics. This one color in particular, I took a liking to and I've been wearing and I have it on my eyelids today so if you're wondering what that sparkly beautiful color on my lids were well it's this guy it's this guy this is Rue's Lullaby um, and this is from Geek Chic Cosmetics this is a beautiful kind of tarnished gold with sparkles it's so pretty I'll give you a swatch you hear my belly mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ryan. Ryan did? No. No. Yeah. Me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Alright, so there's a swatch of it right next to that lipstick. Can you just look at that color? And those sparkles? It's just so pretty. It's like a tarnished gold, slightly taupe honey color with some like awesome glitter reflex in it. I love that color and I have that packed on all over my lid. So I have that color packed in all over, all over, all on top. I have that color all over my eyelid. 
Um, so you can see it's a gorgeous color. So it swatches well, it applies well, and works well on the eyes. I love it. So see, totally, totally good makeup combo I got going on today. Another thing I've been loving, super cheap and affordable, this is from Elf Cosmetics. This is the 3-in-1 Lengthen, Define, and Volumize Mascara. This is what the packaging looks like. This is what the wand looks like. Kind of funky. Um, this does not... This isn't my favorite mascara for like all over. But for the bottom lashes, this does not smudge or budge or get on my under eyes and concealer and stuff. I have the hardest time with under eye mascara smudging and running on me, but this, this stays, and I'm so excited because it's so affordable too. Like even waterproof mascaras will smudge on my under eye area, but this stays and it doesn't smudge and I love it. Woo woo! Raise the roof, raise the roof. I don't know what that was. I got really excited there. Um, so this is a great mascara, so if you're prone to smudging, Hello. Um, it's okay all over for like the whole lashes, but it's more of like a defining lengthening one. It's not really so much volume where I like um, me some tarantula eyelashes. You know, I like a lot of volume but for underneath my eye. This is awesome. Love, love, love it. All right. Another makeup item. This is Wild Honey from Becca. It is their mineral blush. This I have on right now, so if you're wondering about my cheeks, <laughs> I will look no further, yeah. So this is a gorgeous color. I wasn't quite sure about it because it just kind of looks like a terracotta, orangey, brown color. I mean, you're like, what is that? But on the cheeks, it just really warms up the complexion. It doesn't look over the top. It just is a beautiful blush. It gives me a flush of color. It has that pretty terracotta-ness to it, so it's nice and warm and rich. I love this. Love, love, love it. So I'm really happy I got this. And Becca's blushes, they are all so soft and pigmented and smooth and buttery. They're just a really nice formula, and I'm really, really been liking this. Oh, yeah. So love that. It probably would be helpful if I gave you a swatch, huh? You guys are like... No swatches? <laughs> come on, come on, get it together at least. So I'll give you a swatch, you know, I'll be helpful. It's like a really pale terracotta, peachy, beige. It's gorgeous. It's a great blush. So there it is, up close and personal for your viewing pleasure. <laughs> We've been watching a lot of The Little Mermaid in my household lately, so that Aww, Ariel moment. <laughs> That's Ella's favorite movie right now, and it's really cool because I get to relive my childhood. That was the first movie I saw in movie theaters, like, when I was a big girl. <laughs> I don't know, how old was I, like, six, when The Little Mermaid came out? It was my first movie in the movie theater, and it scared the living you-know-what out of me. I was, like, a little wee Elise when Ursula came out of the sea. It was like, ha, 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 ha. I was like, oh, mommy, it's scary. <laughs> so... But anyways, yeah, where was I going? I don't know. I just decided to tell you a story of how Ursula scared me as a child. Especially when it was on like the big movie screens and my first ever big movie, like in a movie theater, like what? <laughs> Too much stimulation. All right, last favorite. Um, uh, I don't know, my skin has been like breaking out, but this helps it so much. So this is the Paula's Choice Clear from her clear line. She does have a cleanser in this line as well. Um, but I've just been using the anti-redness exfoliating solution with salicylic acid. It's like a toner kind of thing. And then the daily skin clearing treatment with 5% benzoyl peroxide. So I feel like the combo of salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide, these are both the extra strength, really zap out the zits and the fastness. Like they've been getting deep, like hurting, like super hormonal, cystic, terrible acne, but these like just dry that sucker down. So these have been a lifesaver and have just been shrinking the zits I've been getting because, you know, because I'm like a teenage girl all of a sudden I'm about to turn 30 and my face is like, <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Okay, so I've been loving these. These have been really helping my face not look so terrible. So that was my weekly favorites. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have discovered anything or have any favorites of the week, leave them down in the comment section below. 
Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Heart you guys all. Bye, everybody.